Hello everyone. For this week's seasonal spot, we're going to talk about Hawthorne. Now most of us can fairly easily identify them from their spring white blossom, small thorns and red berries you find in the autumn. But did you know that we have another native Hawthorne species that's specifically endemic to this area, adequately named the Midland Hawthorn? Now, they're not as common as the common Hawthorn variety, but they are still found in many ancient semi-natural woodlands and old hedgerows. This is mainly due to lack of planting, hybridisation, and increased planting of some of the cultivated varieties of quickthorn and other hawthorn species. Now, even though the Midland and common hawthorn are two separate species, identifying between the two can be quite difficult, as the identification factors are quite small and quite a little bit of detail looking, and maybe a small bit of surgery. This is because the main identification factor is that the common hawthorns, berries, also known as haws, only contain one seed, but the Midland hawthorn, each of the haws contain two seeds. So to find it out, you might have to separate them out. Now, one of the other main key identification factors between the common hawthorn and Midland hawthorn is that the Midland hawthorn leaves are usually more shiny and only have three lobes, like this picture here. Now, just because I like to confuse everyone, this can also be a bit of a trick question as they are known to hybridise between the two. So common hawthorn can have very similar leaves to the Midlands hawthorn and some of the cultural varieties can also have leaves very much identical to it. So it's a good identification factor, but it can sometimes trip you up. So don't get worried if you get a bit confused. Now, because of the increased challenges with hybridization, cultural variety, variety and increased planting of the common hawthorn variety, the Midland hawthorn has become less common, but it can still be found in many ancient semi-natural woodlands and old hedgerows. So next time you're walking about, let's see if you can find one. And if you do, take a note of it, because hopefully it might be able to become a future seed tree so we can plant more across Worcestershire. Now, that's all for today, so I hope you enjoy the video, and good luck on your search for the Midlands Hawthorn, because I've only ever been managed to find one here on Smite Farm.